Hey, it's Tim. Welcome to Morning Wednesday. So, so much of sales, it's sort of like a dating app. And we're all trying to get somebody to swipe right or, yeah, because I guess swipe left is wrong. I've been married for 20 years. I've never been on a dating app, so I don't know. But I had this conversation with somebody at an engagement party, and she was telling us about all the, the travails of life on dating apps. And she said that the bar to swipe right is so high because if there's a single red flag in the sort of run up to the actual date, she said, that means that it's going to be a freaking red flag parade during the actual date. And that got me to thinking that in some respects, when you were trying to sell services, or in this case, agency services to someone, all they're looking for are red flags because they're probably talking to you because something isn't going right in their business or they feel like they're not taking advantage of something. And, and so they feel vulnerable in some respect. And so when they're talking to you, they're actually thinking like, wow, this person could in fact solve my problem or they could make it worse. And as human beings, we are 100% wired to avoid downside more than we are to take advantage of upside. It's sort of a, it's a, it's a thing. It's just how we are all wired. So your clients, your prospects are always looking for ways that you are going to disappoint them. And so what you need to really think about during your presentation is how do you de-risk your presentation so that there is no downside. Now, lots of people try to de-risk by using things like social proof and case studies and all that sort of junk. And all of that stuff is good, by the way, but it requires a basic level of trust to believe that you are actually, you know, the, the things you're really saying are in fact true. And so that requires trust that you have not yet earned from the client. So think about de-risking in a different way. So instead of social proof or case studies, which, you know, frankly, are not all that, you know, they're, they're very cold, right? What you want to think about are what are the objections that could come up and how do I take them away before someone actually asks me about them? So, um, you know, a couple of examples that sort of came to my mind is if you're a small agency, you can say things like, oh, you know what? We think being small is better because that allows us to be hyper responsive and that you're getting in touch with the people who can do the work right away. Or you can, uh, you know, you can take your uh, relative lack of, of experience and say something like, guess what? We are actually purpose built to solve your problem. So we have insert name of, of process here that is built to accommodate and account for everything that you're going to be facing. And that's the problem that we solve. So in both cases, the first one, you took a, a, a potential weakness and turned it into a strength and in the second case, what we've done is we've actually used process, the fact that you've already thought about this and created it and made it a named thing, you are actually sort of turning the chance that you don't know what you're doing into a more remote chance because frankly, you have built a process that is made for this particular opportunity. So I think that when you are thinking about your business development, really start thinking about it in terms of what do you have to do to get a swipe right? What do you need to do to de-risk your presentation so that you can get to the point where you are actually having discussions, the valuable discussions, right? So you've got to look at yourself very critically. You know, am I presenting as too small? Am I presenting as super expensive when I'm not? Am I presenting as, uh, you know, as opportunistic when actually I'm really thoughtful? And so you really need to 
learn the, the skill of dispassionate thinking so that you can de-risk your presentation so that you can get to the point where you can have trust building and relationship building discussions with your prospects. And that's Winning Wednesday. Take care.